Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome to another Tekken cosplay. Now, as you guys know, I try to be as creative as possible with these Tekken cosplays. And, you know, the first couple times I tried to do this, my video program was messing up. And I've just been trying to find ways to deal with it. It seems like it's straightened up now. But regardless of all that, I have a very fun Tekken cosplay. One that I don't think anybody has ever thought of. Um... In short, trying to be the very best that no one ever was. That's right. We're going to be turning Shaheen into Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. And we're going to make a Tekkenized version of it. So it's not going to be 100% accurate because, you know, Tekken doesn't have everything that the Pokemon has. But it's going to be the most accurate depiction of Ash Ketchum that I could do in Tekken. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, I did start this, well, I, I made one version of it. You know, over time, they've had several different costumes made for Ash, and I've done several ones. Oh, and before I forget, after I do this, I'm going to let you know. The 90s inspired Ash Ketchum outfit that I did. This was more so inspired by the very first costume we had. And when you look in the faces, like, in the face, like, Shaheen actually looks like Ashton Kutcher a little bit. Actually, because, like, literally like Ashton Kutcher. Like, literally spot on. And yes, I gave him Ash catch on a 5 o'clock shadow. It's been decades. He's an old man now. He's mature. He needs, he, he needed that. <laughs> for the sake of time. Oh, and I, I also made, um, Rio from the... King of Fighters games. <clears throat> uh, it's just real simple. You just get like the D and you just make it orange, you know, just to match with with real hair and give them blonde spiky hair. That's the closest thing they have to uh, a real costume, but on the outfit. So this Ash Ketchum that I made previously, this was more so inspired by his 90s, you know, like the very first look that he had when when that show first aired on television. This next Ash Ketchum outfit I'm gonna make, it's more so inspired by like the 2000s. I, I, I haven't seen Pokemon in like, going on like a, a good couple decades. Like, it's been a while. Like, it's been at least like a good 20 years. So, I had to look up some pictures to get an idea as to how I was gonna do this. And, I think that different ideas and one was the outfit that you've seen previously uh, which was inspired by the 90s and this is more so of the outfit that he had I would say in uh, I don't know what the series was I want to say that, that it was XY maybe it was Pokemon black and white. I don't even know if they made a black and white. But I know that that, that, that they did um, I have Pokemon XY. And I think this is the outfit that I'm looking at. Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was XY. Uh, I'm reading it in the title. Like it's an Ash, Ash XY. Okay, so, um, but this, one, this next Ash Ketchum outfit I'm going to make is inspired by his XY outfit. So, first things first. So, unlike his original outfit, his Cap was all like red and white, so this one's real simple. Main part of the cap was red. This is white. White. Very white. But he's white. And yeah, giving him a beard. This is so damn long, dude. You need, a, you need something to, to simulate that he's a, a grown ass man now. <laughs> Who's been, been on the road for like 50 years? Uh, let's, uh, let's see how that plays out later. Um, then I'm gonna do this. Cause his jacket is like simple colors. Like his original, his original outfit was uh, I had this jacket because it has like three different options. 
this one is going to be simple because he only has two options. Actually, three. Uh, there's two for the jacket and there's one for the uh, shirt. Well, this is going to be simple because in XY, he has one up. A blue jacket. Like his jacket is blue. Kind of like a dark blue. Kind of like that. Um, and it has white stripes on it. So we can make it white. And then the shirt was black, so... And then for the pants... Now the pants is always like a difficult thing for me. Because... It's not necessarily anything else but the shoes. That really makes or breaks the outfit. And... The shoes really... You know, like they really make or break the outfit. And I tried these pants right here. And the only, the only problem I have with them is that you can't change the frog color that's on them. So I kind of skipped that. And then I had the original outfit and I kind of just dealt with it. So there's a belt underneath the shirt. Um, and there's two, colors, there, there's two customized options for that. And then the other two are like the shoes. The one for the main part of the shoe and the one for the shoe strings. And there was only so much I could do with that. So looking around, these are probably like the most customizable pants that they have. So, and, and this is a good thing. I could just change these into the color that Ash has now, but that he has an XY, which is the gray. Can't really tell. Goes like that. Now the shoes is the, is the part that really brings it all together. The shoes are just black and white. Now the sole is uh is white, but the shoe itself is um it's just red and black. So you do the main color of the shoe. Red. That's one jacket. Let me try this one. I think I could probably, because he does have gloves on in the X one in X one. Oh wow, and I messed the shoes up. Hold on. This part of the shoes, the white part of the shoes. Shut up. <laughs> like the other part of the shoe but it's like hard to get an accurate color 
normally that they're like tone uh, and like the main part is usually like one color and then it's like the strings on another. Who's on? So this is like the best option right here. The only downside is, is that it's like the sweatpants, it's not actual jeans. Kind of looks like you guys aren't using this picture anyway. But it is what it is, folks. Here we go. Next question. Next slide. Heroes, He's, uh, you know, the originated in Japan. And I know we got something that can simulate a Pokemon. Like, what exactly do we have that can simulate a Pokemon? Like, in Trox, in Trox, it has a Pokemon. This? Ah, uh, not a grenade. It's something that really looks like a Pokemon. Not a pineapple. Now, what we got right here? Bam. Water balloon. There you go. It doesn't get any water bomb. It doesn't get more Pokemon in that. What else we got? Bag. I don't know, just to all the footballs in there. Uh, um, crawl. That kind of works. Trip crawl kind of works, doesn't it? What's it going to start eating, boy? Mm. Um, got killing in and some. All of them. There we go. Get asked if someone would have done it. Imagine that. Uh, and that's pretty much all we can do. I don't actually have any, like, pulse or anything like that. We got this from the school man. Let's go. Captain's word. No need to be no dark or anything. Good. Even here. Think you're gonna get to a Pokemon trainer in a second. 